Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on working with available graphics that you may find online. There are a plethora of graphics and vector designs that you can download at a variety of sites. This particular cat graphic I got from Vector Arts Hub, and I really liked this cat in the bottom left to work with to create a repeating pattern. I've been seeing a lot of cat repeating patterns on women's blouses and sweaters and I just thought it could be a fun thing to work with so even if you're not quite ready to start creating graphics from scratch on your own I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can take graphics that are already available and manipulate them to work for you so the first thing I want to do is I want to change the cat's eyes they're a little bit too Halloween-y for me and I want them to be a little bit softer and more inviting I really like the eyes that are on these three cats up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those eyes and I'm going to start doing some mixing and matching so we'll zoom in on this cat right here which has got pretty nice eyes and as I select this it's all grouped together so I can just double click to get into isolation mode and start selecting the motifs that I need so I need this eye and the other eye so I grab those two so I just do command or control C on my keyboard to copy those I can either double click anywhere outside of the artwork or hit escape to get outside of isolation mode so I'll hit escape and we'll come down to our cat down here with these really Halloween eyes and I'm going to take those out so first I click on that and again it's all grouped so I double click to get inside isolation mode I delete that eye and I delete that eye now while I'm still in here in isolation mode and I know I'm in isolation mode because I've got this sort of cookie crumb path up here at the top and also all the rest of the artwork that's not part of that group or in this specific example it's a compound path I'll talk about that in a little bit um, is grayed out so that's how I know I'm in isolation mode so I'm going to zoom back in now I still have those two other eyes loaded on my clipboard so I'm going to choose paste so command V or control V and you'll notice you see something kind of weird happening over here where it's white where it goes over the cat's face and black where it goes outside the cat's face and the reason is because these eyes are not actually white shapes they are what are called a compound path now a compound path is anytime you have one shape with another shape essentially it's cut out from the inside so these eyes are actually see-through meaning if I put a shape behind the cat you would see it come through the back of the eye it's not actually a white shape on top of the cat illustration so with these two eyes I'm going to select them again and they're a little bit big so I'm going to hold the shift key and make them smaller that looks a little bit more of a natural size you can do any repositioning you want now I'll escape to get back out of that compound path uh, that compound path group and I want a mouth and nose to work with as well now I don't want any whiskers because I really like the whiskers that this cat already has so um, if I look up here at these three these two whiskers are already attached and this one's got a nose with a mouth and the whiskers are detached so I think that's going to be the easiest one to grab so again I'm going to click on this double click and grab the nose and the mouth and I'll copy that and again I can choose escape to get out of that come back over to the cat that I want to work with double click on that paste and again it's a little bit large for this scale so I'm holding shift and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and get it in position So that's a little bit more the look that I want to go for. Now one other thing I'd like to add is some dimension here in the tail. So I just want to have a little break in the tail to kind of show how the tail's wrapping around the body. I could do that with a white shape or I could also add another piece to the compound path. So I'm going to do that because in my opinion it's a little bit more of a tidy way to do things. So what I do is I can just start drawing with my pen tool the shape that I want now I'm grabbing my direct selection tool to manipulate the curvature of the handles now I'm going to select this shape with my selection tool the black arrow so now what I've got is essentially this black shape and I'm going to hold the shift key to select both the black shape as well as the illustration of my cat I can choose object compound path make now you can see what it did is it made a compound path with this shape so 
again I'll review that really quickly this is actually not a white shape it is a cutout of the black shape so if I take some other color shape and we'll give it a color here of red and I send this to the back you'll notice I can see it through there so it's actually a cutout of the black shape that's what a compound path is anytime you cut a shape out of another shape from here my cat looks pretty good and I'm ready to turn into a pattern so I zoom out a little bit and I want to work with this cat and I also want to work with this paw print so I just hold shift to select both and I copy those and I come over here now I've already placed this artwork on this document and created a repeating pattern so you can see I'll demonstrate it one more time here so I take this and again you'll notice these aren't white shapes these are actually cut out of my illustration we'll make ourselves a new artboard to work on so I've got this cat and I've got the paw print and the paw prints a little big so I hold shift to constrain proportions make it a little bit smaller and if I'm in CS6 or newer, either CS6 or CC, I can use the pattern making tool. So I just select the motifs and I choose object, pattern, make. And from here I can use my pattern tile tool to adjust the repeat size. And I get a live preview update of what my artwork looks like. And I actually want my paw print to go in between the cats this way and I also want this to be a half drop I don't like how the cats are staggered or not staggered uh, lined up perfectly so from my tile type I choose a brick by column and there I get more of the feeling that I want in my repeat I can choose done and from here I can draw any shape and fill it with my cat pattern so here it is in its final repeating form using these two motifs that I just showed you how to create starting with artwork that you were able to download from the internet so go ahead and download some free files and play around with them it's not always about creating everything from scratch there's a lot of great resources out there to help you get started thanks for watching this is so Heidi